Deserted roads and empty parks. A top official says the UK could face up to six months of restrictions. And in other news, President Trump has said the US will not foot the bill for Prince Harry and Meghan's security amid reports that the pair have moved to the US from Canada. Mr Trump tweeted he was a great friend and admirer of the Queen and the United Kingdom, but he added they must pay. The couple responded saying they had no plans to ask for publicly funded security in the US. So we're going to have a look at the papers this morning. We already had a look at inside. Um, so much to talk about as well. Let's take you through the front pages this morning. Some of those main stories. Telegraph leading uh, on that comment by the Deputy Chief Medical Officer for England, Dr Jenny Harries. If you might have seen her speaking yesterday at the press conference, who said that a return to normal life could be six months away. It also has a picture of a drive-through COVID-19 testing facility. This is for NHS staff. The Daily Mirror reports that an NHS consultant in Derby has died with coronavirus. Amged El Hawani, 55, uh, passed away on Saturday. If you're wondering what it might take to knock coronavirus off the front pages, well, this is what the Mail have gone for today, uh, leading on President Trump saying that the US will not pay for the security of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Uh, this is uh, amid all those reports that they've moved from uh, Canada. they sort of temporary residents and moving into America somewhere. <laughs> Let's talk about, uh, this is sort of related to supermarkets, this comes from inside the mail actually, um, and these are pictures of uh, things that people have left out for the dustbin uh, for oh, the, no. to, to pick up. Um, look, this is a, you know, I mean these bananas for example, perfectly good banana, bananas, uh, bread, huge quantities of food um, are being dumped and gone out of, uh, having gone out of date before they could be eaten. A former Lib Den councillor has shared a series of images um, showing rubbish bins in Derby overflowing with discarded food. Um, bread, bananas, unopened packets of chicken, they've all been thrown away uh, when they went past their sell-by date. I mean it is quite extraordinary and the post apparently met with furious response from people who called out the behavior of the stockpilers after similar scenes reported across the country i mean this is really you know there are people who cannot get food because there's no food in the supermarkets and then there's other people leaving food um, uneaten outside uh, in their bins that's so disappointing tell us what it? you think we report, i'm not even it last week we were saying there's a billion pounds yeah, worth of exactly. extra food in people's yeah. houses talking something that might be happening next year baby boom apparently being predicted for early next year <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be, there'll be so much. There's going to be so much coming out of, of all this over the next few months. I'm, I'm maybe, sure maybe that's, that's a little bit of good news. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Um, it is. What's it, I, if I, I, in my new position, I find it different. There's the clock. 24 minutes past six. We're getting used to so many different things. And um, let's go back to that announcement yesterday that it could actually be six months or more before life in the UK returns to normal. Yeah. Frontline NHS workers in England are to be tested to see if they have coronavirus. It comes after criticism from medics over a lack of screening. Previously, only seriously ill patients in hospital were being tested for the virus. Critical care doctors and nurses are going to be tested first. The rollout follows similar schemes in Wales and Scotland. A breathing aid that can help keep coronavirus patients out of intensive care has been created in just a few days. The device, which has been developed by technicians at University College London and the uh, Formula One Mercedes team, takes oxygen to the lungs without the need for a ventilator. If the trials go well, then production of around 1,000 machines a day could begin as early as next week. So frontline hospital staff in England are starting to be tested to see whether they have coronavirus. Previously, only seriously ill patients were being screened, leading to criticism from NHS staff that they were being left unprotected. Well, from today, critical care doctors and nurses in England will be checked if they show symptoms or, this is a crucial area, or live with people who do show symptoms. Tests for A&E staff, paramedics, GPs and social care staff are expected to follow. Frontline staff in Scotland and Wales are already being screened, while in Northern Ireland, testing also begins today.